Hey guys, so it has been so long since I've talked to you, but I just wasn't really in the place for YouTube the past few months. It just, I don't know, I don't know what was going on. And if you follow me on Bella Marie Makeup, I haven't posted on there in months. I need some drops in. Sorry. Uh, I just really wasn't in the place for YouTube the past few months, and on Bella Marie Makeup, I haven't posted in months. It just, like, I don't know, it was really, it was just... An adjustment of interest I guess because I'm not really that interested in makeup itself anymore I still love doing it I still love getting ready you know I still enjoy that but I don't really enjoy making tutorials and doing new looks and stuff as much anymore which is kind of shocking to me so but this is a new channel I'm not gonna delete any videos because that was what I loved at the time but this is channel is now more about me instead of just my makeup interests it's more about just things I like to do. I love wellness, like skincare and eating healthy and stuff like that. So that's pretty much what this channel is going to be about. That's just a little introduction. But this video I'm really excited about because I'm going to be telling you my best shopping tips. And I love shopping, but I don't always have all the money I want to shop. So these are my tips to overcome that. So I really hope you enjoy. And if you're new to my, new to my channel, I'm Bella. Go ahead and subscribe if you want. And I'm also not wearing any makeup. I'm just wearing mascara. So if my skin is not looking its best, we're going to have to get over that. So let's get on with the video. My first tip, number one, I love shopping at Urban Outfitters because it has so many different options. Like it's not just one style and it has so many different brands and different trends and stuff like that. So I love shopping at Urban Outfitters, but it can get a little pricey, you know? Do I have both earrings in? Okay, we have both earrings in. And, but what I suggest, and this is the tip, everything goes on sale, so wait for it to go on sale. Unless you really like need the product now, I recommend waiting until it goes on sale because it'll go on sale pretty much always significantly. Like the price will be taken down a lot and everything that I've seen full price goes on sale eventually. So just wait for the sale. Tip number two, thrifting is the best. I have been thrifting for three years now. My friend Chloe was the one who introduced it to me and now I love it, I can't get enough of it. Most of the time I have one item that is thrifted on me and that's typically from Buffalo Exchange. Oh, I'm also filming this with natural light so if the light goes in and out, that's why. But thrifting is awesome if you have a buffalo exchange in your area i'm not sure if it's only a california thing or even a southern california thing but if you're in southern california there's buffalo exchanges and they're the bomb it's more of a higher end thrifting and then there's also goodwill i've never had too much luck at goodwill i found a few things here and there but i prefer buffalo exchange and then thread up which is really really cool it's like an um, online thrift store I heard about it from advertisements on my phone and then my friends started buying there because Kristen Johns buys from there. So it's great. It's like an online thrift store and they have like designers for like hundreds of dollars less. They have all kinds of brands, all kinds of clothing. So that's really cool as well. So thrifting is great. Number three, I, okay, so Macy's has, this is kind of like a weird, like confusing tip, but Macy's has great shoe options. The clothing kind of is chaotic. Like the clothing section kind of stresses me out. But the shoe section is my fave because they have all kinds of brands and they're so well priced. And if you're a member at Macy's, I don't know how the membership works, but if you're a member at Macy's, I know my mom is, you always get coupons and they always have such good coupons. And it's just the bomb because they have such good shoe brands, plus the coupons, plus the markdowns, plus the sales. It's awesome. I recommend especially the shoe section in particular at Macy's. Tip number four. Find brands that you love that are kind of like imposter designer, if you know what I mean. For me, that's Zara. I love Zara. They have such cool, unique, characteristic pieces that are so well-priced, and they're just, I love them. I love Zara. I was in there yesterday. I love them. Okay, tip number five, sign up for email lists. This can be really exasperating and really annoying, getting all the emails, but it's worth it when you get an email that you're actually... Are excited about because I'm a, I'm signed up for like I'd say eight emails yeah probably eight brands and it's the bomb it's so nice because they you really are the first to get to know about the discounts about the things that are going on sale about the warehouse sales about all kinds of sales so it's the bomb urban in particular great email list 
Um, Shop Resurrection is really cool. They have great email list stuff. And it's just really, really nice because you get the, you're the first one to know and you're the first one, first choice of the products that are going on sale. And it's really, really great. Number six, okay, a lot of people, a lot of people sleep on Forever 21, H&M, and places like that, you know? Do not sleep on places like this because if you just want to find a piece that you're not necessarily going to wear for the next two years and you just think it's super cute and it's not that expensive and none of the pieces there are that expensive and you know you could get a few uses out of it, buy it and buy it there. But if it's the comparison that I usually make is if it's something that you're going to want to wear in two years, in three years, then invest and buy a good piece. But if it's something that's just on trend that you don't even know if it's going to be in trend in like three months, then buy it at Forever 21 or H&M. If it's something you want to experiment with that you don't know if your is your style, why would you spend $80 on a shirt that you don't know if is your style when you could spend $15 at Forever 21 or H&M? You see what I mean? And if you look, what I do is I look and I'm saying what part of this could look inexpensive or like looks cheap and then I like is it worth it? Is it worth how much they're charging? And I do a little inv investigation with every piece I buy. I bought this yesterday, this cute little top and from Forever 21. And they just have really cute pieces that you can buy and you don't have to worry about is this high high quality enough that it's going to last me for a few years because you don't it's not that expensive, you know? That's why I love those places. Tip number 7, jewelry from places like H&M, Forever 21 and like Nordstrom Rack is so good. I kind of mentioned this in the last tip, but accessorizing from those places is the bomb. It's so cool because they have so many fun pieces, like so many cool earrings you can accessorize with that, you know, because if you're, again, if you're experimenting with like crazy earrings, you're not going to want to spend like $80 on them. You're going to want to spend like $10, $20 on them. And those places are the places to do it. So accessorizing from those places. Is this eight? Yeah, I think this is tip number eight. Nordstrom Rack is the bomb. I don't know, and I'm not sure. I don't think they have an online store. I might be completely wrong. Actually, you know what? They might have an online store. They might be online, because they're kind of like Markdown, so I don't know if they're, they can have an online store. I don't know. But Nordstrom Rack, if you have one in your area, is the bomb. I don't know where they're available. I'm so full of knowledge on Nordstrom Rack. But they're so cool because they take all the Nordstrom products. If you're not familiar, they take all the Nordstrom products, they mark them down, and they facilitate that in their little store where you can buy them. Tip, tip number nine is, this is kind of a basic tip, but it is so important, especially for people my age who don't have a bunch of money sitting around. Remember, if you love an item and it's kind of expensive, find a way to save up and splurge on it. Because, like, if you, I found this jacket yesterday that I was like, is it worth it? And then I'm like, you know what? It might be. So I let it sit there, came home, and I'm like, hmm, is it worth it? And you know what? I think it's worth it, so I think I'm going to go back and get it. But if you find an item that you really love and it's kind of a lot of money, then just remember, you know what? If I save up and if I just spend the money on something I love, then it's totally worth it, you know? So remember to splurge or else you're constantly going to be saying, oh, uh, it's too expensive. Just be like, do I really want it though? Okay, then save up and buy it, you know? That's how I have been raised. That's how I view buying stuff. And I'm a teenage girl. I don't have a bunch of money sitting around. That's why these tips are honestly true. I didn't get these from anywhere. These are the things I use. Maybe they're similar to other people's tips, but these are the things that I came up with that I used that are the reason I am not completely broke because I use discounts. Discounts and sales, honestly, it's wrapped up into one, discounts and sales. I really hope you found these tips helpful because they are truly, honestly, my tips. They're what I use. So I really hope you found them helpful because that would be great. So <laughs> if you found them helpful, I'm great. I'm, if you found them helpful, I'm very happy for you. So don't forget to like and subscribe if you want <laughs> and I'm Bella and if you're new to my channel hey and go ahead and subscribe if you want and I'll see you guys on the next one I promise I promise I won't go MIA again I am truly very excited about starting up my channel again and I promise I won't just disappear out of nowhere so if you're interested in that if you're interested in seeing me stay here then go ahead and keep watching and I'll see you on the next one bye guys